Hello, I'm a gardener. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an omega-3 test kit, and I'm also going to discuss uh, the importance of omegas in our health. Now, anytime I talk about health, uh, I always have to do what's called a disclaimer. That way you don't think I'm playing doctor or telling you what to do uh, with your medicines and your health. So I'll have to put up in my video here something called a disclaimer. That's what this is right here to let you know that whatever you do is your decision and all I'm doing with you is sharing my own personal experiences. Now you know how I am about health. Of course, I'm a big gardener, I do that. And I really believe that health and gardening go hand in hand. So, the point I'm making here is your health is in your hands, not in your doctor's hands. You know, the things that you do, your lifestyle, that's going to play a big part in how healthy you are. Now, I said later in the video that I'm going to show you me actually doing, pricking my finger, and doing a omega-3-6 blood test. And it's an, it is an in-home test. You don't have to go out at all to do it. So what I'm going to talk about today is omega-3, 6, and there's also a 9, but I'm going to focus mostly on the 3 and the 6. And we're going to talk about the ratio of it. So one of the questions that comes up then is what is or what are omega-3 and 6s? And the answer is they're an essential fatty acid. Now this chart's in the video. And they're essential because our body doesn't make them. So that means we got to get them through food is, is the way we're going to do it. But the problem is, or the issue becomes, that they need to be in the right ratio. So I mentioned omega-3 and 6 ratio. And so the question then becomes is, why is the omega-3-6 ratio important? And the answer is this. A high omega-6 to 3 ratio promotes many diseases. These diseases include heart diseases, artery problems. It includes cancer. It includes inflammation in your body, which contributes to plaque buildup in your arteries, and, and also uh, autoimmune diseases. Now, once you did your omega-3-6 ratio test, then obviously the question comes up about, well, what is a good ratio? And the answer is, a good ratio is going to be anything less than a, a 4 to 1, right up there. Anything less than a 4 to 1. So what does that really, really, really mean? Well, the answer is that your blood would have 4 omega-6 elements for every one omega-3. And that thing is going to be written like this. It'd be written as 4 colon 1. That's a ratio. So if this 3, omega 3, 6 uh, ratio is so important, how do we know 
what that ratio is. And that's what we're going to talk about here. And of course, the answer is do a blood test. Well, that brings up the next question, how? In the description box below this video, I'll put the links to two places that I know of and that I have used where you can get this omega-3-6 ratio test kit. And here's an important point. You do not need your doctor's permission or doctor's orders to get this kit, do it, mail it back, and get the results. And then later in this video, I'm going to show you me doing that test kit. In other words, taking a test of my own blood. So you might ask, well, what's the problem? OAG, why are you talking about an omega-3-6 ratio? And the answer is this. The standard American diet, SAD, SAD, diet, has the ratio all out of balance. The SAD has way too many omega-6s in it and not enough omega-3s. So you might ask, well, all right, if the standard American diet, the SAD diet, has too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s, what's the result? What is the result of the standard American diet, the SAD diet? And the answer is, I got two of them here. Disease is rampant in America today. You, if you don't believe it, just look around. Look at people. Look at the uh, coronavirus. And number two, the poor health is the normal everyday condition for Americans today. And that is the result of the SAD or the standard American diet. So now, let me get into doing this test and show you how it goes. Now I have received my omega-3-6 ratio index kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. So here's, here's what we've got. Omega-3 index. It's a complete kit. It's, it's a blood test type of a thing. And it's going to be, as this picture right here shows you, it's going to be a finger stick. And we'll put a drops of blood on a card. And there's my order confirmation. The only thing here it says on <clears throat> special instructions right in here. It says fasting is not required. But the sample should be collected at least 12 hours after the last dose of a fish oil supplement. So it means if you're taking fish oil as a supplement, you shouldn't take it like in the morning and then turn right around and do this test, uh, say mid-morning or noon. It needs to be 12 hours. So point I'm making is when you get one of these orders, read the special instructions. All right, so here we go. It's just gonna be a pop open. There we go. And so up here you got a set of instructions. It says collect your sample, mail the sample in, get your results, 
and modify your diet based on what the results might tell you. <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. This is a set of instructions. Tells us exactly what we're going to do. Up here is a list of what the kit contains. It says A is a sample card. So we'll look at that in just a moment. This we have a self addressed postage paid return envelope. So all we got to do is just take it out and put it in our local mailbox. We don't have to take it to the post office and it'll get going out. So here's the little package of everything that we need to do this. Here's a sterile gauze pad that we'll use to wipe our finger down when we need to. Here is an alcohol pad that we will wipe our finger off and then we'll use the sterile gauze pad to wipe our, we'll, we'll wipe the, the alcohol off. And then here is a, uh, what they call a little lancet. That's what we're going to use. We'll twist this off and we'll use it to prick our finger. And here's a band-aid to put back over your finger after we're all done. And this is what's called a blood spot card. So before you start anything on it, you need to fill out the little uh, lines here, which would be your name, the date of birth, the date you did this collection, and what email address you want the results sent back to. So then when you get ready to do the test itself, you'll prick your finger, you'll put drops of blood inside that circle there. They usually tell you to fill that circle completely. I'll have to read the instructions a little better here in a minute. Fill that little dotted circle completely with blood. So that means that one drop may not do it. So you have to do whatever it takes to get that much blood in there. Then you let it dry just like that for at least half hour. I forgot what it says, but I usually wait a half hour. And then you fold it up. And you put it in an envelope and you mail it back. So we'll do all that tomorrow. <clears throat> I've read the instructions. So I know what I need to be doing. Here's the card that I'm going to put the blood on. First thing I need to do is fill out that card right there. We're going to use that to prick our finger. So you remove this little cap right there by twisting. Now we'll open up our sterile pad. We're going to blot our finger. Okay, the next thing we need to do is open up our sterile alcohol pad because we're going to clean our finger. And now we're ready to get it open here. So here it is. Here's our alcohol pad. So I'm going to use this finger right here, so we'll rub it good. Blot it for any alcohol that's on there. We don't want any alcohol. Then we take our little lancet here, we just push it down hard, and it'll do its thing. Now this first drop of blood that comes out, we don't want. So we'll blot that away. And now we'll come up and get the next drop of blood 
And we're going to go into our to our circle. See that dotted line? We want it to be completely full of my blood is so thin that it just runs runs too freely on me here. So that's what it is now. So now we need to lay that down and let it dry for at least 20 minutes. And now we got to put some pressure here to get my my finger stopped. Okay, so now our time is 30 minutes. Wait time is uh, complete to let this dry. So we fold it over, tuck it under like that. And then it goes back into the plastic bag. Seal it up, and it goes into the envelope. Seal the envelope. And now we're ready to go to the, I'll put my return address on it, but we're ready to go to the mailbox.